57 yards. The Bengals and the Jets, that means Boomer would face his old mates. It also means the 25th anniversary of Super Bowl III. Broadway Joe was there. First drive of the game, the current Jets QB, Boomer Sison, hits Chris Burkett for a 10-yard gain, and a Sison. The all-time leading left-handed passer, surpassing Kenny Stabler, started the second quarter just down by three, third down. Boomer hits Johnny Johnson, who runs to the 20. Same drive, third and four. Boomer over the middle to Rob Moore for the first down. Then third and three, again to Moore for the first down. They miss the next third down, but on fourth and one, Boomer sneaks it into the first. Then Brad Baxter rustles his way to the end zone from five yards out. 7-3, Jets in the lead. Bobby Houston fired up, good reason. That drive lasted 11 minutes, going 94 yards, 19 plays. David Shula knew his team was in trouble. Still in the second, the Sison hits Johnny Johnson. This one goes for 54 yards. He's finally brought down the Bengals five. And how'd that play develop, TJ? Well, this is a good call by Coach Coslett, and this is the matchup you want. JJ on a linebacker in a dead sprint down the field that's most times going to result in a big game. Well, there was one highlight for the Bengals. David Klingler lost it in the corner of the end zone to watch Jeff Query. He's doing his job. His second touchdown in as many weeks. A great catch. Bengals within seven. Then eight seconds left in the game. Jets have to punt. Louis Aguiar tries to run out the clock. He thinks there's no time left. But wait, wait, look at the second left. The Jets are guilty of holding on the play. So the Bengals took the safety, forced the Jets to kick off. You know Bruce wasn't happy about that. The last second took more than five minutes to play, but the Jets hang on. 7 to 12, 17 to 12 to win their fourth in a row. They haven't done that since 86. Boomer, 17 to 26 for 192. David Klingler was sacked four times as the Bengals remain the only winless team in the NFL, 0 and 10. They have that game with the P-Men. I knew you were going to bring that up. I, yeah. They, uh, those old Jets uniforms, number 29. It was great to see the Bill helmet. Turner, Mark Smolinski, number 30. Pete Lamons, number 87. I thought I was watching the old Jets at 68. <laughs> But these Jets are doing quite fine. As for the New York Giants, who share the same stadium when they're home. Down, long ball down.